This is Sparta! Hey guys, don't forget to go check out CloneGuy72's uh, YouTube channel. I'll leave a link in the description below as well as at the end of the video. I'll have it up there as well. So uh, definitely go check him out. You guys know he posts amazing video. He's also a live streamer, so he's got some good stuff out there. So uh, yeah, make sure you guys go check him out. Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Tanks. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight... We have another ridiculous replay sent in by Clone Guy 72. Um, you know, when this guy sends you a replay, you don't have any choice but to, but to throw it up there. Because why? Because the dude is ridiculous. Like we we've seen his replays a few times now, and every single one of them has been absolutely epic. I feel like this is going to be no different. I don't even have to look at it ahead of time. That's the best part. Like, a lot of people send me a replay and say, hey, this is a great game that I had, and I'll, I'll check it out. And I'll be like, it's it's an okay replay. And, you know, um, if I had that game, I would probably post it. But as a community replay, maybe not. Um, because I try to make sure that community replays are, like, top-notch. Uh, I try to give you guys the best content on my channel. Um, and, uh, you know... Even for myself, like I hold myself to a pretty high standard as far as what games I like to put on the channel. Now, there are times where it just isn't possible. I don't have that game because I generally don't keep... Oh, there's a... On the move, nonetheless. I mean, it's a ruse, so it's not like you're going to bounce off of it. But the fact that he even hit the tank on the move is frustrating to me. Because when I played this tank... I mean, don't get me wrong. The gun isn't terrible, but it's it wasn't the greatest either. Sets the IS on fire. Like, first of all, an IS... Like, it seemed like when I was in my 4502 Bravo, it was constantly bottom tier. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, th he did make a, a point to mention that this was before they nerfed the bottom plate. So, that that's a good thing. Uh, so, you'll, you'll see him. That's probably why he's just kind of... What are you doing, Tiger? Like, do you honestly think... How many people still believe the walls and stuff... Will pr protect you from armor piercing. Apparently, enough of them, especially tier sevens against a tier nine, a really super heavy tier nine with a ridiculous 128. But uh, I digress. Anyway, <laughs> but breakable structures, breakable walls, and stuff will not stop a round. And look, why is it that all the tier sevens are right around him? It's like, he just pulls up into the center of the map and all... Well, there's a tier 8, and that one could actually be a problem if he doesn't get a shot at... Come on, nope. He holds the shot. Now, there's something... Ouch. Okay. There's the first person to actually do significant damage to him, and it was an artillery. Go figure. You know, the artillery put a wallop on him. And you've got to be careful, because that big flat deck on the front of your tank could potentially be your undoing. Um, if an arty round hits that just right, you're paddled, and it's not fun. And there's another one. Batchat, 155-55, and he takes him down. Unfortunately, that, that arty was just a little too close for his own comfort. Gets two good hits out of a, out of a 155 gun on this heavily armored tank, so the, the guy actually got some solid good hits in. I mean, generally, you're going to hit for about 500 a shot, um on good targets if you don't pin but uh he did that on a heavily armored target so uh, pretty impressive to be honest but anyway enough about the arty he's just absolutely wrecking these guys there's nothing they can do we got a tiger over here just nothing what are they gonna do oh okay the guy on the right knows what he's doing so he has to square up to him but he's got to make sure he's not giving a side to the tiger that IS put a wallop on him, too. Just hit him for uh, right around 400. You know, the IS can get a 122, I believe, right? So it's it's possible that uh, he just... Either way, let's just move on. Anyway, we're going hunting for a hammer. <laughs> and he puts 448 on him. A little bit of a low roll, if you ask me. But, uh, yeah, it's a thing. Hammer shoots the turret and doesn't do anything. And guess what? I would just ram them, to be honest. Because, I mean, you don't have a whole lot of health, but I don't think a hammer is going to have enough health to... Uh... Ooh, hello. Is he going to get the shot off on the RHM? Nope. They take him down. 
But he's he's in a good place, but he's got to watch. There's a Japanese heavy over there. And an E-75 that's full health. So now we're starting to get into those those moments. Oh, hello. Easy shot. Easy shots. And he tracks him, too. So he gets him to stay right there in the gap for him. Is he going to still be there? Oh, he's just got the very smallest area to shoot at. Oh, but he backs up. <laughs> Thanks, Japanese heavy. Making it easy on him. Why not? Everybody else has so far. <laughs> the only one that hasn't made this easy on him was that IS getting one shot into him and the artillery putting two rounds on him. But he's got to play smart here. The game's tied up and uh, he doesn't have any health. If somebody decides that uh, he needs to go and use his high explosive, this could end badly for him. So are we going to see heartbreak or are we going to see the clutch? Now he takes the shot. There's a better roll. 500. So uh, putting it on the Oho and down his teammate goes in the Tiger 2. Again, you got to make sure that you don't get walloped here because high explosive will kill you at this point. Uh, now, you've got a great armor, so you ain't got to worry too much about that. His teammate is capping, so he's got to stop him. This E-75 closing the distance, but instead of aiming the shot, ends up bouncing off of him. He takes down the Mutant 6 and the E-75 once again, trying to square... Like, what are you doing, E-75? And he shoots the bottom plate, and that's why he made sure to tell me this was before the bottom plate was nerfed. Because he shoots the bottom plate and does absolutely nothing. Because, you know, Terminator tank. But, but he's given the side of his turret to Clone Guy and Clone Guy makes him pay for it. You cannot just pull up in front of somebody and turn your turret all the way to the side. It's not going to work. But, if these guys had just loaded high explosive one time, one time, they would have killed him. Now, our guy jumps off the cap to go hunting, and that could be a bad thing. Or did he die? Maybe the guy that was on the cap died, but I thought that was... Nope, and Oho goes down. So that was the last high explosive possible. Where are we going? We've got a Centurion 7-1 DPM gun. That's going to be dangerous, and it's a Comet. Oh no, Comet, what have you gotten yourself into? So Clone Guy, instead of driving towards the... Oh, wait. Is he going to? No. He's going to turtle up, which is a good move. Make him come to you. Because the last thing you want in a slow heavy tank is to be caught in the open field. But it does look like he's... Nope. Nope. I was going to say, it, it looks like he wants to, but he knows better. If he goes into that open field, that medium tank could easily flank him and kill him. Because he only needs to pin one hit. But he drives out. He puts a round on his butt. Centurion, what are you doing, brother? But you got to be careful. That's a tier 9 medium tank. It does have penetration, but it can also... I don't know. It's a British tank. I don't know if the Centurion 1 or 7-1 has uh, Hesh, but there's a good chance that it does because being a high tier uh, British tank, I would imagine it, it probably does. Uh, or maybe some sort of other uh, high explosive round, but... I know a lot of your high tier British tanks get Hesh, so if if it has Hesh, he could easily kill this guy. Or he could easily kill Clone Guy, but he's playing around, and I'm not sure why. Why would you engage at distance? You know, that's, that's the part. Now, he is using his turret, so that's a good thing. Now, he knows that he's got time, but Clone Guy playing right. He's got the backside of a ridgeline, so he doesn't take a hit here. And is the guy going to... Yeah, why would you pull... Oh, my lord. And he gets the track, and that's pretty much the game. Because now the Centurion has no more health to play with. He's out in the open, and Clone Guy only has to drive around the corner and kill him. Is he going to side scrape? Or is he just going to drive around and assume that the guy's going to whiff because he hasn't shown him anything at this point? Oh, here we go. Here comes the side scrape. Good luck, Centurion. Hope you got a high explosive. But no, he snipes the back of the tank over top of the dead tank. What a great finish there. So what do we end up with, guys? I think it's going to be a pretty good one. It's over 9,000! As Vegeta always says, it's over 9,000, guys. 9,965 damage. So close to 10,000. 4,200 blocked and 7 kills. Ridiculous clone guy. 
thank you for sending the video in and uh, hope you guys enjoyed. So if you like what we're doing, punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.